and welcome back to The Hollows in Darksiders Warmastered Edition. We are checking out this rather nice... Ooh dear, forgot about that. Um, we are checking out this rather nice subway, not subway, train station. And here's the Griever, who we're here to kill. We're not actually going to get to kill him. Ouch. Now, oh, Jesus. Well, that was a good start. Uh, we're not going to get to kill him now. In fact, do we have to beat him off or do we have to run? I can't remember. Do we have to shoot him in the face until he runs away? Yes, we have to beat him in the face until he runs away. the job and don't toy around with her this time i think this was one of the first times i'd ever heard mark hamill swear uh which entertained me no end when this first came out uh right now unlike the first dungeon I really can't remember uh, a great deal about this one. I can remember a couple of the rooms. Or at least I think I can remember a couple of the rooms for the reason that I didn't particularly like them and they annoyed me. But that's generally what I do remember uh, about Games. I remember the bits that frustrated me and that I didn't like. Right, so we've got little, uh, little zappy buzzy things. Uh, and we've also got some water. Die! They're, uh... They're fairly straightforward. Uh, isn't there a... Actually, I think... There's something... Oh, hello! Yeah, this room here actually is the one that uh, I remember being kind of annoying. Um, only because it's got a logic puzzle in it. It's not even that difficult a logic puzzle, but I screw it up every time. I, I do mean every time. Um. Huh. 
where is it that I've got to go? Is there or there? Ah. Here. Because that enables us to hit this switch, which turns on the gas. And turning on the gas means that we can do our... Jolly Elemental Blade thing. Die. Really? That goes to that. Goes to that. And I don't know whether I can hit that from here. No. Can't. Back we go. Oh. Uh, so I need to. I'm not entirely sure why I dropped off previously. Kapow! Say there's a chest around here somewhere. Okay, we're gonna get a uh, swarm of little enemies. Which always reminded me. Oh no, we're not going to get the swarm yet. We're going to get the... Uh... We're going to get the solo one first, and then we're going to get multiples. Ouch. Teensy bit of health back. But not a huge amount. Which reminds me. I want... Put that on. Get some extra weapon experience. The faster you can level the weapons up, the better. Ow! Ow! Uh, 
I, I do like the fact that there's no like stamina bar or cooldowns I on these uh, weapon abilities it's just spam them as much as you want balls you sir must sit There's also uh, quite often things hidden in alcoves. Another abyssal armor piece. That makes... How many have we got now? Four out of ten. Yeah, there's, there's often things hidden in alcoves that uh, you won't necessarily notice. You'll also notice that that did not refill my meter entirely. So it refills a certain amount rather than everything too full. Which, if you're playing on normal, you probably wouldn't notice. Ow. Because, as I say, easy is... Uh, not easy. Normal is... Pretty easy. Uh, oh, yes. So, out of one pool... Into the other... It is surprisingly easy to get turned around in this section. In fact, I'm not entirely sure I'm going the right way. Yes, I am. Another Wrath Shard chest. So we're on our way to our second extra. didn't actually take us into the uh, the fan to show that off but uh, there are fans underwater that will blow you um that will blow you back that will stop your progress hello again what this is. Ah, this enhancement boosts the harvest of souls from slain enemies. Uh, so boost the amount of souls acquired from enemies and creatures. Additional soul rewards when added to the scythe. So almost always worth putting into the scythe. And uh, switching between the two in every fight to make sure the boosts keep on coming uh, I think that's just like I said kind of easy to get turned round in this section key key doesn't help that um, these chunks are actually kind of samey looking I think this is where yeah I think that's where that fan was that we just turned off there we go that wasn't too bad
Yeah. Oh, look. What's that down there? It looks suspiciously unguarded. This is going to be the Tremor Gauntlet, is it? It's going to allow us to deal with the white blocks. Pow! A battle-worn gauntlet that releases Tremor waves when charged. To charge the gauntlet, hold Y. So we can swap top right hand corner there between the scythe and the tremor gauntlet. The tremor gauntlet can also have a and a, uh, a thing attached to it. Oh, hello. Ouch. Ooh. That's kind of an annoying time for cutscene. However, this allows us to, uh... Oof. To get used to the idea that some of these enemies are really, really fast. Like, really fast. Don't lose your head, mate. Oh, good. Ow! Slice! Dice! Cut in half! Oh, there's more. Oh, balls, there's more. Well, we know how we're going to have to deal with these guys. We are going to hit some in the face. Oh, crud. I forgot that happened. If you uh, go for the... Yeah, if you hit B to go for the uh, the instant kill, it actually takes you out of chaos form. Suck that. Uh, right. That opens up our various passages. First of all, shows us that we can use the Tremor Gauntlets to break obstacles. Uh, 
Uh, was there anything else? Oh. Make our way through here. So yeah, we can uh, switch between those weapons anytime we want. And it's got its own series of upgrades. I did tend to find myself using the gauntlet more than the scythe. Ah! A wall. But it is very much personal preference and they've they've all got their own. nuances to play around with right this room here is a block pushing puzzle press and hold y to use the tremor gauntlet to strike and quickly propel an object while dragging it so if you hold e push things off there like that. This bit's actually kind of awkward. You've got to push them, shockwave it between. Grab this while we're here. Between the different uh, ramps. Grab this while we're here as well. It's so weird having to use the health pickups. Uh, you'll also notice that up there there's another Legion artifact. And got to remind myself how I get there. I think. It's like that, in fact. The soldier artifact. They are the uh, the cheap ones. Okay, so back up here. Back up here. Go. Okay. Now you actually need to lower this one down slightly because otherwise. The block will just slam into the side of it and it won't go anywhere and but do I need to can't remember whether you hack whether you can lower it more than that or whether that's it no you can't So it's not a super complicated puzzle, this one. Yeah, see, that happens. Oh, yeah, that's my own fault. That's what I forgot to do. Got to raise this one up first. Damn it. I knew there was an issue. Like I said, not a super complicated puzzle, but one that you can quite easily screw up. Yeah. 
if you are missing things. Let's do this again. So this, ladies and gents, is how you don't do the puzzle. <laughs> And then this needs to go up, and we can use this. As a stepping stone. Whoa. Get up here. And in doing so, we can use our gauntlet a smash do there. Is there anything else over here no don't think there is splish splash splish splash splish splash your wings. Uh, I don't think... You'll notice that this is above. The arena where we got the, uh, the gauntlet in the first place. down there. Oh, nope. Ow! I've got good homing in on that. in her. So the griever is hanging around on the outside of this building. Looks like she played you again. If at first you don't succeed, I guess. Nice. Oh, yeah, the the enemies are pretty effective at just whittling you down. Is interesting. Smash. Hmm. 
Au. Also interesting is the fact that they seem to hit me before I grab them. There's a chest over there. Oh yes, this is what we want to be doing. Woohoo! So we get the water out of that uh, that room that I said previously I didn't really like. So yes, this puzzle involves the pushing around of trolleys. And you've got to get them into certain places and positions. Certain places and positions so you can get to Oh right, yes. Uh so what you need to do is you need to get the uh, the bigger of the two up here so that you can jump on it and and leap up there. Is what you need to do but in order to do that you need to get this one out of the way because what we want is that one there so to do that shift it over We need to get it out there. Whoa. It didn't need to hit it that hard. screeching sound okay so we now need to go back up move the platform back Punch it that way. Was that it? I thought there was more to it than that. No, oh, that's the puzzle solve music. Can't help but think that there might be something I've missed up there. Or maybe that was where we went up previously.
I do not remember. Either way, this is where we actually want to be going. Uh, this just takes us out, yes, above the whole lot. And it enables us to get back to the... Boom at the start. Oh, I don't want you to... Oh, I think I'm stuck. There we go. I must have caught it just at the wrong angle. Right, this will take us out back to the main room. But from here... Oh yeah. These things. I don't like these things. They're not terrible on their own. But when there are multiples of them... Or you let them start attacking... Then they get really nasty. And in fact, there's one place on a bridge later on in the game uh, where there are two or three of them at, at uh, the same time, and they are not fun to deal with. In fact, the more I play this on Apocalyptic Difficulty, the more it makes me think of places later in the game that are going to be absolutely vile. And the controller is freaking out. It rumbles like a heartbeat. Uh, when you are low on health. But uh, as I think I said last time, I really do. I do start to see now why there are so many health chests and stuff uh, knocking about. Because they seem so pointless previously. Like this. Oh yeah, you can't, uh... Dude, isn't there something down here? Think! No? I thought there was a Legion artifact hidden down here somewhere. Guess not. Whoa!
Um. Oh yeah, you just need to hit it. Me thinking you need to use the cross blade. You don't. There we go. And jump over here. I would really like some health. Maybe I'll get some next time. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Remember to ring the bell to be notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.